Welcome back to the Indianapolis Arrows franchise. The Arrows are in the ALCS and we are facing a very similarly constructed team in the Seattle Mariners led by the young star Julio Rodriguez. They find themselves here in game four and looking to take a 3-1 lead. The Arrows have been okay defensively so far in this series, not like we've seen in series past where our bats really showed up. So we're really going to need our bats to show up today in order to get a victory on the road. We face Emerson Hancock on the mound here for the Mariners. He has one start so far in the postseason. It was pretty good. He did not get a win. It was a no decision. The same goes with Tafon Edwards, who gets his second start. He was hit pretty well in his one start here in the postseason, but the international free agent rookie is coming to play today. So here we go. Here is Ian Happ leading off of the game, and he hits a chopper to second base to get this game underway. Here is the lineup here for the Arrows. Not much has changed. I'm keeping Pat Washington in center field for defensive purposes because he is excellent defensively, not so much at the plate. But Alex Verdugo gets the third out of the inning, hits that one well to right field to Acevedo, and now we're on to the bottom half. Here is J.P. Crawford at the plate here, starting at shortstop here for the Mariners. He hits one to Cam Collier at third for the first out of this game. That brings up Julio Rodriguez here with two outs, and he will walk. His bat has been kind of cold so far in this series, as that brings up Teoscar Hernandez, who's always good in MLB The Show. He hits one to second base, and that will be the third out of the inning. So no damage done by either team so far as that brings up Cam Collier in the top of the third inning. And he hits one well up the middle. That one gets through for the first hit of the game here for the Arrows. Cam Collier has really, really improved coming into his second season, his second full season here with the Indianapolis Arrows. That brings up Washington, who has been struggling at the plate. So we decide to bunt Cam Collier over to second base. But will it mean anything? That brings up Joey Manessis with two outs, and he gets under this one. So it looks like Hancock will get out of this inning. It's still 0-0 headed into the bottom of the third inning. Tyler Whitaker comes to the plate now. He gets an off-speed pitch, and he rips this one down the left field line. That one gets all the way to the wall and left, and Ojo Tycon playing in left throws to second base, but it is not in time. And they have a run around second base here with no outs. Tafon Edwards in his first jam of the game. Evan White hitting below 100 so far here in the postseason. He hits a high fly ball to Alex Verdugo in right field. This is going to be a bang, bang play at third. Whitaker, the throw is almost in time. It was just a little inaccurate. If it was right there, it would have been an out. But nonetheless, the Seattle Mariners get a base runner over to third. That brings up the top of the lineup. Jose Acevedo hits one deep to the warning track. It's going to be likely deep enough to score the run. A good relay, but Whitaker will score. It is 1-0 here in game number four. We move on to the top of the fourth inning. That brings up Alex Verdugo, who has been struggling here in the playoffs. We'll see what he can do here in the second AB. He gets one right over the middle, and Hancock makes his first mistake of the game. That's gone. Verdugo goes deep to right field, 391, and that may get his back going here in the playoffs. I knew it would not be long, but that ball is long gone. Hancock knew it right off the bat. It is 1-1. The hottest hitter coming into this series was Salvador Perez. We haven't seen anything from him so far. He walked in his first at-bat and gets a single in his second. So he's on first base. Still no outs here in the top of the fourth. That brings up the kid, Ray Gonzalez, inside fastball. He's watching that one for ball four. And now we have runners on first and second here. Cam Collier to the plate here with two outs. Remember, he hits the ball extremely well with runners in scoring position. He hits this one deep to left center field, but the speedy Julio Rodriguez will run that one down. And no other damage done besides that home run, but it is one to one here. 
as we move on to the bottom of the fourth inning. That brings up Teoscar Hernandez, who goes low for this one, drives it deep to center field, and it keeps carrying over the wall. So Hernandez answers Verdugo's home run right back with a shot of his own, his third of the postseason. Look where this pitch is located. Looks like it was going out of the zone, possibly, and, and Hernandez just goes down and gets it and hits it 419 to dead center. It's 2-1. James Triantos hitting in that five spot. Hits one down the right field line. That one gets over the glove of Seth Beer, who is starting at first base in the injury absence of Paulo Reyes. And that will be a one-out double. Jacob Melton to the plate now. He's 0 for 1. He hits one to right field, left field, and that one gets down. So now it is a... One out situation with runners on the corners here for the Mariners, but the bottom of their lineup has not been hitting well so far in the playoffs, so hopefully Tafon can get out of this jam. Tom Murphy inside to Seamer. He cannot catch up with that one. It's just strike three swinging. As that brings up Whitaker with two outs, and Tafon does get out of this jam, and it's 2-1 to one here for the Mariners. So we move on to the top of the fifth inning. This is Pat Washington back at the plate. He had that sacrifice bunt earlier, and he hits one up the middle. It's about damn time for Pat Washington to get his bat going. I don't know what's happened to him in the postseason. In the regular season, he hit about 256, and in the postseason, that's his first single. That brings up the next batter, Ian Happ, who hits one up the middle, and that one will be a single as well. And now we have runners on first and second here. And it looks like the manager has seen enough from Hancock. He's pitched pretty well so far, but a couple of base hits will do it. These games have to be managed closely, and they go to the bullpen and bring in the veteran, 33-year-old Spencer Turnbull, who has not appeared yet in the postseason. So an interesting change right here. That brings up Verdugo. He hits one to second. This one will be a double play. Wow. How about that one? And it looks like here in the top of the sixth inning, it's still two to one. Salvador Perez comes to the play. He had a single earlier. He has two walks to his name already. And now here is Seth Beer at the plate, getting that start in the place of Paulo Reyes, hitting that five spot, though. He turns on one. This is the right center field. It gets all the way to the wall, and it looks like Acevedo's going to come up throwing. But how about Perez? 18 speed all the way from first. We got ourselves a ball game here, 2-2. Two to two. The bench is fired up, seeing Perez chug around those bases with only 18 speed. He scores all the way from first. Incredible. Cam Collier to the plate now with two outs, and he cannot do anything. He's had runners in scoring position already twice in this game and has not come through with an RBI. We move on to the bottom of the seventh. We bring in Babe Miller to replace Tafon Edwards. Bay Miller has been really good in the postseason in relief appearances. We have not given him a start yet because we've seen what he did in the regular season. He was not a good starter. Ground ball to first will be the second out as that brings up Evan White. He gets through seven, eight, and nine in the order here. A ground ball to first, and it's two to two going into the eighth inning. Alex Verdugo already has a solo shot to his name. One for three today. He turns on one to start the eighth inning. That's a rip down the right field line. And that will be a leadoff double here and a good start in the last two innings of this game. So that brings up Salvador Perez. Like I said, came into this series hitting extremely well, but has cooled off versus the Mariners. He gets a 3-1 pitch, and he turns on one. He hits a bullet to left field. Home run. Salvador Perez, his fifth of the postseason. Are you really surprised? You can't keep him down too long, and Perez makes Turnbull pay. They looks like they left him in a bit too long, and it looked like our lineup started to catch up to those pitches, and that was ripped. Perez makes it 4-2. They go to the bullpen and bring in Archie Lopez. He's pitched nine in one-third innings so far and has been magical. He's been their best relief guy. I'm surprised they didn't go to him earlier. 
But he faces Seth Beer, and he beans him on the back, and it looks like that it's going to bring up Ray Gonzalez with one out, who hits one hard up the middle, and it will knock off of Archie Lopez. And Lopez actually feels some discomfort after that ground ball up the middle, and they're actually going to go to the bullpen and bring in Matt Brash. So their best reliever gets taken out of the game on a hard ground ball, and they bring in a guy that's been struggling in the playoffs, a 9.54 ERA. He faces Cam Collier, who reps one deep. Back to center field. It's gone. A 7-2 ball game here for the Indianapolis Arrows. 398. And wow, Cam Collier gets it done. His second of the postseason. As we move on to the eighth inning. Here is Acevedo at the plate. He goes deep, but I think it's way too late in this game to play any games. We need to go to the bullpen. We bring in Reynaldo Lopez to get us through these next two innings. He's good with pitching two innings, but nothing more than that. He faces Hernandez. That's a swing and a miss. We move on to the ninth inning. Can we get through this final inning and tie this series up? James Triantos to the plate. High fly ball to left field. Lopez will get the first out of the inning. I thought off the bat that thing was gone. It just hung up in the air. Jacob Melton to the plate. Ground ball to second. That is the second out. We are one win away of a big game four victory, and we will get it. A 7-3 to three victory here on the road. How about this? In this series, the road team has won every game. I was definitely worried after we went down 2 nothing, but the Arrows have shown some resilience and been able to come back and win this one pretty decisively. Like, in the eighth inning, we clobbered the ball. And I think the Seattle Mariners made a big mistake with their pitching changes late in that game. I'm not sure why they left Turnbull in for like three full innings. That definitely wasn't smart. So now we move on to game five, and we will see what happens in the final game here in Seattle. We will face Jordan Montgomery on the mound, and they will put their ace, Luis Castillo, on the mound. And Jordan Montgomery is getting hit already. I don't know what it is, but in these situations, these quick managed situations, even when we simulate, Jordan Montgomery gets absolutely clobbered. We're down 4 nothing here in the third inning. Seattle already has seven hits. We decide to keep him on the mound here. He gives up another single, and I've seen enough. We have to go to the bullpen. I don't know what it is, but something about this man in these situations, he just gives up so many hits and so many runs. We go to Bay Miller, and that's not much better because he gives up a two-run home run in the fifth, and it is seven to nothing. I kind of get fed up at this moment. Like, I, I cannot believe it. I bring in Jacob McDonald because I'm pretty much conceding defeat in this one. I don't want to put any of our, you know, prime time relievers in this game. And I decide to already simulate to the end. Like, I was sick to my stomach here. I cannot believe that Jordan Montgomery got ripped like that. And then we go to Bay Miller. I wanted him to just get us through like an inning and a half, and he couldn't even do that. We lose 7-1, to one, and it was a decisive win for the Mariners. And now we go back to Indianapolis, down 2-3, to three, and we have to win these games in order to keep our playoff lives alive. So here we go. What do the Arrows have in games 6 and possibly 7 can we keep this miracle season alive in our first ever season in the playoffs? We'll have to see. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Hope you guys are enjoying this ALCS. We will be more consistent with this series going forward. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride